working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'm gonna give it my all until this curtain's on a gig. I've been working like a dog and I've been eating like a pig, but I'm gonna give it my all until this curtain's on a gig until I feed my folks. Let's get free. Oh, definitely. And at first it was like, uh-oh, how long can this show last? The guy's just telling them about meeting their mom, right? Nine seasons. I can't believe you're also a big fan. Yes, Barney is my favorite character too. <sighs> well, listen, Mr. Davis, um, I've been having so much fun talking to you, but I don't want my supervisor to think this is a personal call. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Uh, what do you say to that monthly plan I mentioned earlier? If you were to get that, I think it would be legend. Wait for it. Derry! <laughs> oh, really? Wow, thank you so much. I, I'm going to transfer you to my sales associate who will take care of the rest. Have a great day. <laughs> Brava. Thanks. I can't believe I said Barney is my favorite character. I'm a lily lady all the way. Wait, you actually watched the show? Oh, I watch all the shows. I found it's the easiest way to connect with the customer. And if I like the show, all the better. So you found a way to binge watch TV for work. Guilty as charged. I'm Alice. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Esther. Esther, what a cool name. You don't really hear it much anymore. Yeah, because it sounds like someone's grandma who grew up in Brooklyn during the Great Depression. <laughs> That's true, uh, but I like it. Do you know how many guys I've met who have asked if they can take me to Wonderland? Oh. Gross. Mm -hmm. Hey, E. Mind if I steal Alice? Hi, Benji. Sure thing. Great. Alice, come with me. Where are we going? Through the looking glass. No. So, what are we doing here? Lesson two. Ooh, fun. Hit me with it. Okay, so you're into acting, right? Ever do any improv? No, but I was into butt stuff for a while. <laughs> what? Oh, it's a improv group at my college. Butt stuff. They were very edgy. <sighs> and by the way, I'm not into acting. I'm an actress. Oh, my apologies. I forgot you spent all week performing a doll's house in that headset of yours. <laughs> yeah. Touche. Actually, my brother has done a lot of improv. Hey, Alex. Alex! You know we're all on phone calls here, right? Yeah. What was the name of your improv group? Oh, there was actually a lot of them. Uh, it was Apollo 69, uh, Skunk Blood, Fancy Boys, uh, Too Many White Guys, Tustin Jimberlake, Yo Mama Bin Laden, uh, Two Guys, A Girl, and a Suggestion from the Audience, uh, Darren Aronofsky, which, like the director, but also we had a guy on the team named Aaron Nofsky, and the audience would give him dares to do. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, we never call them groups, though. We tend to call them teams or troops. Okay, never mind. Anyways, these calls, they're just like improv. You take the core yes and tenet and go to town. How so? So let's say you're talking to an elderly woman, and she says she's knitting. No way. I love knitting. I do love knitting. Aw, don't care. <laughs> I mean, obviously the truth is neat, but even if you were molested by an alpaca, you love knitting for the sake of the sale. Dark. Even for meat sales. Mm, get used to it. Now, listen and learn. Hi, Linda. It's Benji. <laughs> Benji, who? I, Linda, I'm offended. <laughs> It's Benji, the man with the plan to change your life and save you money. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna get to that, Linda. But first, what I'm curious about is, what are you into? What gets you going? No way, I love NASCAR. <laughs> oh, my favorite driver. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> There are just, like, so many good ones. <laughs> um, you know, Mike and uh, 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 Rick and uh, D Travis <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> Jeff. Uh, Jeff Gordon. Yes, yes, of course that's who I meant. <laughs> oh, your, your husband's on the pit crew. Well, that sounds delicious. <laughs> no, 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 of course that, that was a joke, Linda. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, you know what? I think those guys are the real heroes of NASCAR. I mean, it doesn't matter how much horsepower one of those cars has. It ain't getting around the track without wheels. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, y you know what? Say, all this, all this pit crew talk is kind of getting me hungry. Linda, do you like meat? Uh, no, 
No, wait, Linda. Linda, you don't have my phone number. Linda? Lin Linda? Cool lesson, Ben. Yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> hey, gang. What are we up to? Hey, Dee. I'm just teaching Alice about yes anding. Benji, I know you fancy yourself a bit of a mentor around the office. Charmingly sarcastic spirit guide. Right. But right now, all Alice needs is a script and some practice. So please spirit guide yourself back on the phones, charmingly or otherwise. I choose charmingly. And away to the phones I go. Yes, and so do I. I must stand on my own two feet if I'm to get to know myself in the world outside. That's why I can't stay here with you any longer. Bam, a doll's house, bitch! <laughs> no, no, I don't have a cat. Cats are disgusting. No, I'm a dog guy. No, well, you see, because cats aren't really pets so much as they are aloof a-holes that lord over your home. <laughs> Why would I pick up my dog's poop? God. Yeah, you're probably right, but lucky for you, I'm a selfish prick who sells organic, free-range chicken that is so fresh and delicious, your cat might actually start to respect you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll transfer you now. I thank you, but uh, I know you cat people hate that. What the hell was that? Negging. Huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You would. With a shirt like that. What the hell does that mean? It's like my nicest yellow shirt. I wore it just for... Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. You were negging me. You're the negger. <laughs> what? Oh God, no, 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 I didn't say that. Uh, no, I said nigger, nigger. Stop saying it. I'm, I'm not, I am not saying it. I am not saying the N-word. It was N-word adjacent. How can I be racist? My only friend is black. <laughs> Your only friend? No, that, no. What I said was he is my only black friend. See how that doesn't sound great? Yeah, but I am not a racist. Alice, right? Oh, it's so good to meet you. I've heard such good things. H Hi. Are these granola bars up for grabs? Oh, yes, they are. Oh. Well, I mean, technically, they're Jerry's, but I don't think he'll mind on account of he was fired yesterday. Ooh, yikes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Jerry, your loss is my weight gain. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's you. You're funny. Thank you. Maggie. Huh? My name is Maggie. So let me know if there's anything you need, okay? Just tell me. We have, um, let's see, we have paper clips, 50 per Ziploc, I counted them myself. Um, if you want tea, we have green tea, uh, black tea, red tea, which I believe is pronounced rooibos, uh, white tea, Earl Grey tea, and then my personal favorite, lemon zinger. Mmm. <laughs> and, um, oh, if you want to put anything in the refrigerator, just make sure that you label it with a Sharpie, which is in that cup. Wow. Uh, you really seem to know your way around the place. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm kind of the, like, unofficial office manager. Unofficial? Well, technically, I'm not being paid for it, but I still perform all the duties. That seems kind of illegal. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Oh, no, I love it. You'll see. We're more like family than co-workers here. Except for Jerry. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Except for Jerry. You remember? Oh, gosh. But there always is that one uncle you grew up with, though, right? And then you're 23, and it's like, where'd Uncle Glenn go? Why don't we talk about Uncle Glenn anymore? <laughs> We should get back to our phones. Oh, we should. Yeah. I'm so focused. <laughs> I love it. Oh. oh, hey there, Meg. Hey, Danny. I um, I couldn't help but overhear some of what you were saying a few minutes ago. Oh God, Maggie, I swear what you heard. No, no, it's okay. It is. Yeah, yeah. I'm a dog person too. A dog person? Not a dog person. 
a person. Oh, okay. But I like dogs. Okay, oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> fuck cats, right? <laughs> oh, totally. For, forget cats. Yeah, okay, us, us dog people need to stick together. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, you know, that being said, I should, I should get back to these calls. Oh, yeah. I should really, I have a lot to get doing. And thank you. Uh, see you later. It's this way. Hi, Philip. Hi, this is Alice from Freezer Fresh. Co Francis? Hi, this is Alice from Freezer Fresh calling. Uh, no, no, wait, hey, hey, uh, do you watch Homeland? Uh, no, I don't watch it either. I don't know why I asked you that. Um, oh, what is your favorite TV show? I do hear that baby crying in the background. It's very off-putting. Why am I asking? Um, well, yes, I am conducting a survey. Well. It's more like a quiz, and if you pass the quiz, then you qualify for a very special offer. Really? Cool. Wow, okay. So, question one. Question one. Um, first question. Question you know. Um, what channel stands for home box office? That's right, great, good job. Okay, question two. What award show hands out? Yup, the MTV Movie Awards. How'd you do that? I didn't even finish the question. Okay, question three of three. Final question. Brian Cranston played Walter White on this television series. You don't? Well, you didn't let me give you the multiple choice. It's either A, Breaking Bad, B, The Officer, C, How I Met Your Mother. Well, we all love How I Met Your Mother, Francis, but it's time to focus. What's the answer? What do you mean you've never watched Breaking Bad? That show is amazing. No, it's not really about the drugs. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't glorify drugs. Well, I'm very sorry to hear about your brother, but I'm very happy to announce that you passed our quiz. Ah! So I'd love to give you a fabulous offer on flash frozen meats, cheeses, veggies, and fruits. And Hello? Francis? Hello?